hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this uh, cute little crescent moon and star uh, charm or keychain so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two kinds of yarn one for the star and one for the moon in my case I used the white yarn for the moon and the red one for the star and the little hook over here okay and I used um, this kind of yarn it's 100% acrylic it's called Robin and uh, these are all the details uh, of the of my yarn as you can see the size the lot number and the size so it's the small ball the small size okay and also I use a crochet hook which is 2.5 millimeters okay so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start by making the star and I'm going to use the red yarn. So first we're going to start with the magic ring and five single crochet into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then I'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap. Okay, so after that I'm going to place my marker over here. Okay, so now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 10 stitches. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and increase. Okay, so you're going to increase in the next stitch also. Okay, increase. Okay, so you're going to continue increasing all the way until here where the marker is. Okay, so now in our third row, we are going to do a single crochet, then increase. And repeat all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch then you're going to continue repeating that single crochet increase okay and then continue the same way single crochet increase Okay, so continue like that two more times. Okay, so now in our fourth row, we're going to start by doing uh, two single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 20 stitches. Okay, so we do two single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and increase okay and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now in the next row the fifth row uh, which is our last row I'm just going to remove my marker and uh, place it over there and now in our fifth row we are going to start from the previous stitch uh, of the previous row and there we're going to do half double crochet first in the same stitch of the previous row where we finished off so we'll do half double crochet okay and then a double crochet in the same stitch so double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch okay so that's one edge of the star formed okay and then in the next stitch we are going to a uh, slip stitch in the next three stitches okay so we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch okay slip stitch also in the next stitch and slip stitch in the third stitch
okay and then after that now in our next stitch we are going to start by doing single crochet okay and then in the same stitch we are going to do half double crochet okay and then we're going to do double crochet also in the same stitch okay okay and then we'll do another half double crochet in the same stitch okay and then also in the same stitch we'll do a single crochet okay so that's how it's gonna look like okay and then after that we're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches so we'll slip stitch one then slip stitch again in the second stitch and slip stitch in the third stitch okay and then after that uh, we're going to repeat again what we did in here and in the next stitch we're going to start again by doing single crochet okay and then in the same stitch we'll do half double crochet and do double crochet in the same stitch okay and then half double crochet in the same stitch And lastly, we'll do single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then after that, again, we'll slip stitch in the next three stitches. So we'll slip stitch one, two, three. And then we'll repeat again what we did in the previous, um, in here, in the proof to form this uh pointy uh, stitch over here okay so we'll start again by making single crochet and then half double crochet so remember we're doing them all in the same stitch and then double crochet okay half double crochet And single crochet in the same stitch okay okay so you're going to continue like that again and then uh we're going to continue what we did in the previous in here and then we're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches so one two three okay and then again in the next stitch we're going to start again by doing single crochet half double crochet and then double crochet half double crochet and single crochet okay and then we're going to slip stitch one and because this is our last petal, we're just going to slip stitch two times like that. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off my yarn and leave it long enough for sewing. Okay, so you're going to make two of this, as you can see, like the way I did also in the other one, <coughs> because when uh, we're going to stitch them together like this, and then we're going to stuff them a little bit uh, when we attach them all together okay so now we're going to start making the little moon okay so for the moon we're going to start by doing the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the 
magic ring okay so we do single crochet one two three four five and six okay okay and then after that now in the next uh, two rows which is row two and row three you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of six stitches in each row okay so we'll do single crochet single crochet okay and then you continue doing single crochet okay so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around in this row and the next row so I'll see you when you're done with the third row so that we start the fourth row together Okay, so after you're done with the third row, this is how it should look like. So now in our fourth row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat that three times for a total of nine stitches. So we're going to do single crochet. Okay, then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that again single crochet and increase and repeat one more time single crochet and increase <clears throat> okay so after that now in the next two rows which is row five and row six we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet <coughs> okay and repeat all the way to the end <coughs> okay and repeat all the way to the end okay and then you're going to do like that also in the next row which is the sixth row and then after that we'll start the seventh row together okay so after the sixth row this is how it looks like so now in our seventh row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 12 stitches so we do two single crochet then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that again so we'll do two single crochet and increase in the next stitch And repeat one more time to single crochet and increase okay so after we're done with that now for the next 23 rows which is from row 8 until row 30 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so please do single crochet for the next uh, 23 rows until row 30 and then we're going to start the 31st row together okay guys so after the 30th row this is how our little moon looks like so now we are going to continue to the 31st row and in our 31st row we're going to start decreasing so we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of nine stitches okay so we'll do two single crochet and then decrease okay 
okay and then we're going to continue like that so two single crochet and decrease and two single crochet and decrease okay so guys i forgot to tell you before we continue please make sure you start stuffing your moon uh, because we are almost finished and uh, we'll be done in just a few rows okay so now after that in the next two rows which is row 32 and 33 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet and you continue all the way to the end and you'll do that also in the next row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 33 row so that we start the 34th row together okay so before we continue make sure you stuff all your doll fully uh, as you can see okay so now in our 34th row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet and then decrease and then we'll repeat that again single crochet and decrease And then we repeat again one more time single crochet and decrease okay and then now in our 35th row which is our last row we're going to do single crochet all the way around and finish off okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and the last one six Okay, so after we're done with that, I'm just going to the next to go to the next stitch and slip stitch like that. Then I'm going to cut off my yarn. Okay, and then to close off the gap, I'm just going to go into the next stitch and continue pulling off the yarn all the way through in every stitch. The last time like that okay and then I'm going to go anywhere in any stitch and then continue pulling up the yarn and cut it off Like that okay so this is how a little moon is gonna look like so when we attach uh, the star we're going to attach it here at the middle like that okay and then so what you need to do is you need to attach the stars together in one end uh, like that so make sure all the the left side or the right side faces up okay so you're going to put it together like that 
and then using your needle you're going to stitch it over here in one end and then stuff it a little bit and then you're going to close it off all of it and we're going to attach it together like that okay okay guys so as you can see i've already finished attaching my moon and the star together so what you did it's really easy uh, as you can see you can move it all the way around so uh, you just uh, put your star in the middle of the moon and then you stitch it on this side from here to here and also on this other side and also here on top I put uh, this little hook uh, in case you want to hang it somewhere or for your keys you can put a keychain over here okay so this is just a chain 20 that I did and then I just used the needle to attach it here on the top okay guys so I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos until next time bye